In today's episode, you will learn how to make an RFID and servo motor based car parking entrance opening system. In today's episode, we will cover a number one how to make your own 80 mega 328 microcontroller based board. Number two, complete PCB board explanation. Number three, soldering. Number four, interfacing. And finally, number five, testing. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by Will PCB, one of the top PCBs manufacturing companies. They offer great quality and service. You can test their PCB quality only at $5 for 5 PCBs. You can ask for the price details by simply clicking on the PCB online code, enter your PCB specifications and click price. Once you are satisfied with your pricing, then you can upload your Gobo files. The link is given in the description. The components that we will need for this project are number 1 MFRC522 RFID module number 2 RFID car tag number 3 male to female type jumper wires number 4 12 volt SPDT type relay number 5 terminal blocks number 6 5 volt buzzer number 7 1 in 4007 diodes number 8 LED. Number 9, 330 ohm resistor. Number 10, 7805 voltage regulator. Number 11, 2N2222 NPN transistors. Number 12, 22 picofarad capacitors. Number 13, 16 megahertz crystal. Number 14, 10 microfarad capacitor. Number 15, 10K resistors. Number 16, base socket for 80 mega 328 microcontroller. Number 17, boot loaded 80 mega 328 microcontroller. Number 18, Arduino which will be used for uploading the program into 80 mega 328 microcontroller. Number 19, a servo motor. The one I'm using is MG996R. This is a high torque servo motor. Number 20, 5 by 7 centimeter vero board. Number 21, 7805 voltage regulator the left leg is the input the middle leg is the ground and the rightmost leg is the output number 22 25 volt and 470 microfarad capacitor the longer leg is the positive and the shorter leg is the ground and finally number 23 dc female socket and some connection wires these components can be purchased from amazon the components purchase links are given in the description. After I designed my PCB using Catsoft Eagle, then I sent my PCB Gobo files to Will PCB and make an order of 50 PCBs. These are the PCBs which I just received properly documented containing all the information about the PCBs. As you can see, the quality is really great. I'm 100% satisfied with your work. If you want to learn how to make a PCB, then you can watch my tutorial on PCB designing. The link is given in the description. Let's start with the power supply. This is the terminal block where we connect the 12 volt and ground wires. 1 and 4007 diode is connected which protect the circuit if in case you connect the wires in a wrong way. The cathode side of the diode is connected with the input pin of the 7805 voltage regulator. The middle pin of the 7805 voltage regulator is connected with ground. A 330 ohm resistor is connected with the output of the regulator. This resistor is connected in series with the LED anode side. This is a current limiting resistor. The other leg of the LED is connected with the ground. A 10 microfarad capacitor is also connected at the output of the voltage regulator. A 10K resistor is connected with pin number 1 of the 80 mega 328 microcontroller and the other side of the 10K resistor is connected with 5V. A 5V wire is also connected with pin number 7 of the controller. Pin number 8 of the controller is connected with ground. A 16 MHz crystal is connected with pin number 9 and pin number 10 of the controller. 22 picofarad capacitors are connected with the 16 megahertz crystal. Pin number 11 which is the digital pin 5 is connected with the 10k resistor 
and the other side of the 10k resistor is connected with the base of 2n2222 NPN transistor. The emitter is connected with ground while the collector is connected with the ground pin of the buzzer. This transistor will be used to control this buzzer while the buzzer positive pin is connected with the 5 volt. Pin number 12 which is the digital pin 6 will be used to control this relay. The emitter is connected with ground while the collector is connected with one side of the relay coil while the other side of the relay coil is connected with 12 volt. This transistor is selected after the calculations if you want to learn how to perform the relay driver circuit design calculation then you should watch my tutorial on relay driver circuit design calculations. This tutorial covers the relay pinouts, finding the relay coil resistance and calculations. A diode is used across the relay coil for big MF protection. A terminal block is connected at the output of the relay coil. Digital pins 9 to 13 are connected with the RFID module. First of all, insert the 12 volt SPDT type relay into the PCB board. Then after this, you can see it's a diode. As you can see, this silver line side is the cathode. As you can see, this line is the cathode side. Now simply insert this diode. Now the next component is the 2N2222 NPN transistor. As you can see, it's labeled with emitter, base and collector. This is 2N2222 NPN transistor. The leftmost leg is the emitter. The middle one is the base and the rightmost leg is the collector. Now let's insert the buzzer. As you can see, it's uh, clearly labeled with a positive sign, which shows the positive pin of the buzzer. The buzzer's longer leg is the positive and the shorter one is the ground. As you can see, this PCB is properly labeled. Similarly, insert all the remaining components. So now as you can see, all the components are inserted into the PCB board. Now we will start the soldering. So now as you can see the soldering is done and it looks pretty cool. Now I will solder female headers over here for the RFID module. I will be back after the soldering. So as you can see our soldering is completed. I connected the MFRC522 RFID module using male to female type jumper wires. Few days back I posted a tutorial on Arduino MFRC522 RFID module pinouts interfacing how to read RFID takes identity number and use. In this tutorial I covered all the basics like interfacing, finding the identity numbers of the takes. I am using the same RFID take. So if you don't know how to find the RFID take identity number then you should watch this tutorial. The link is given in the description. While my other tutorial, Arduino Servo Motor Control Tutorial Number 1, Power Supply to Achieve Smooth Rotation. This tutorial covers how to make a power supply for your servo motor. This tutorial completely explains the circuit diagram and programming. This is the program written for the RFID module which I have already explained in very detail. This time I made a few changes. I added a servo motor library. Then using the attach function I defined the pin to which the servo motor is connected which is pin number 3 and then edit these two instructions to control the angle of my servo dot right 90 then there is a delay of 5 seconds and my servo dot right 0 now we are done with the programming now insert 80 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller into the Arduino board connect Arduino with the laptop and upload the program now this 80 mega 3 to 8 microcontroller is ready and can be used in this circuit
The RFID module connections are exactly the same as explained in my previous tutorial. I did two modifications in this circuit so that it can be easily interfaced with the servo motor. Added female headers over here and soldered these two jumper wires over here. The brown wire is connected with the ground and the red wire is connected with 5 volt. As you can see the ground of the servo motor power supply is connected with the ground of this board. The signal wire of the servo motor is connected with pin number 3 which is the PWM pin. I have already connected 12 volt adopters. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.